Yo, what's going on? It's d -Man. you already know. Bringing to you some NBA 2K14. My career playing with the Clippers was just so fun. I had to drop another video for you all. You see T-Dub flying down the lane at once. Tony Parker with the LeBron-like chase down block on a small four. I mean, I'm not mad that he blocked my dunk. I'm mad that he beat it out of bounds like I was Tony Parker and he was T-Dub. Man, that was just crazy right there. You know, that was a pause moment in the middle of the game because I just didn't understand it. But, I mean, he did have that timing down. But you're still not going to stop these lobs. Damn, damn, damn that boy good. Lob City. You know I'm calling for those oops. And you know I'm trying to throw those oops also. But not only am I dunking, I'm also getting open for these three-pointers showing off that strange range because that range is oh so strange. We all know this. He can knock down those three-pointers. So we got to be careful against the Spurs, especially Tony Parker. I mean, look at TP getting a chase down block on CP3. Tony Parker is out here playing defense like LeBron James. He's not letting nothing in the paint. He blocked Tito's dunk. He blocked CP3's layup. Man, that's a bad, bad man. And speaking of bad people on the court, not bad meaning bad, but bad meaning good. You see T-Dub going all the way. That was just too easy, man. You got to have more people in the paint to stop T-Dub. He's been in that weight room. He's been lifting weights, getting ready for season two. So now those contact layups are nothing. But check out Blake Griffin, man, with the hook over the backboard. I mean, that didn't make much sense. But it went in, so I can't be too mad about it. Blake Griffin, he's been working on his post game in season two, I guess. Those over the backboard shots are money. So pushing a fast break, taking it all the way. Another contact layup still doesn't matter. So in the second quarter, we do get out to a pretty decent lead. In the first quarter, I thought it was going to be a close game, but we started playing defense. We started knocking down our shots. You see the pick and roll with Blake Griffin throwing down the alley. Oop, I'm cheesing the CPU out here. But I have Blake Griffin and DeAndre Jordan on my team. I have to hit them on those alley oops. I have to throw the lob. So, you know, I'm trying to play point forward. I'm trying to read the defense, see what they're doing. I kick it out to CP no three. Well, you know what? I'm going to be nice because he knocked down that three right there. But most of the time, Chris Paul is trying to build a house with all the bricks he throws up. He needs to be like T-Dub and show off that strange range a little bit. But he's showing off those strange bricks, man. But in this game, it really didn't matter because we do have a nice lead on the Spurs. So he can afford to miss a few shots. And to be honest, with this Clippers team, we don't have a lot of close games. We have so many scores, so many defenders that most teams don't know what to do against us. And because of that, we end up blowing a lot of teams out. You see, they bring the double team once again, leaving T-Dub wide open. That's like a career high in three-pointers this game. I never shoot this many threes. And even if I shoot this many threes, I never make this many threes. And assist denied Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi, would you go in the paint? T-Dub has that paint on lock. And check out this possession right here. They didn't even need me. CP3 just ran in through the oop up to Blake Griffin. I mean, I would have done the same thing. And that's what we do on the Clippers. We throw those oops. Like I said in my last video, every game is an all-star game. We have all the all-stars on this team. CP3, Troy Woodson, Blake Griffin. I mean, that's already a mean big three right there. And we all like the style and profile. So, you know, we're trying to embarrass people. And, oh, a piece of candy. Give me that ball, Tim Duncan. You didn't want that. Look at the flashy pass. Oh, you fancy hunt. Dishing it off to CP3 on the fast break. You know he's going to finish that. And that's going to extend the lead even more. So in the third quarter, T-Dub, he's not having a really impressive game. So you know I'm trying to pad my stats. You know I'm trying to add a few more assists. And of course a few more points. So I'm calling for that pick and roll with Blake Griffin. And you know what I'm looking for, man. I'm waiting for the roll. Throwing that lob open. Blake Griffin throwing it down on the San Antonio Spurs. Don't do it to him like that, Blake. Let him live, man. We're back on defense, hand up on Manu Ginobili. Ginobili's having a pretty bad game. You see we out on the fast break. And check out T-Dub with the Euro on Ginobili. That's crazy because T-Dub, he actually learned that from Ginobili. So you know he had to do it to him. Just like when he did the shake and bake on Jamal Crawford. I mean, T-Dub, he has a shotgun, gun, so he can copy anybody's moves. So you see T-Dub taking it all the way. Damn, damn, damn that boy good. Look at T-Dub getting hyped. I'm not going to lie. T-Dub, he is kind of ugly though, but you know, that doesn't matter because he has the skills, he has the heart to keep going, keep playing. So in the fourth quarter, we're really just taking it easy, not trying to do anything too much. We just want to end this win off right. Look at CP3 to DeAndre Jordan. CP3 doing his job, man. Just throw the ball at the rim and somebody will go get it. That's guaranteed. So I'm calling for a pick and roll. I was going to throw the oop, but I'm going to just take this all the way, throwing it down with two hands for safety on Tim Duncan. I'm not scared to dunk on anybody. You know that posterizer, something cheesy. So he's going to go up and over everybody. So with two minutes left in the game, you know what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to throw these oops. 
put on a show for the San Antonio fans. I mean, we're the away team, but they came to see the Clippers. We all know that. So I get an oop off to DeAndre Jordan right there, which is nice because I rarely throw DeAndre Jordan oops. It's mainly Blake Griffin. You know, I have to share the rock, and I'm taking it all the way. And Blake Griffin throwing down the reverse alley. Okay, Blake Griffin, I see you. I see you trying to show out. I'm telling you guys, one of these days, me, Blake Griffin, and DeAndre Jordan, we just gonna have an in-game dunk contest, an in-game alley oop contest, and it's gonna get wild. So you see T-Dope had a pretty decent game, 30 points, eight assists, I believe four rebounds, and the coach actually took me out at the end of the game. I couldn't believe it, but we're gonna get a nice win against the Spurs. I mean, we really just blew them out. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll let you all later. Peace.